Hey guys, nice to see you again. Today we are going to watch and learn how Zai from Liquid plays offlane Darkseer. Let's go. Down map skills, because if you can lot more as well in the Terrorblade. Aw, uh, sure. You're more than happy. Uh, you get a little bit more starting gold to play with, of course. Uh, not the biggest deal for Boxy to pick it up, but a little bit more regen, maybe a little bit more move speed coming out from Boxy from, say, faster boots online, tying in with the disruptor lane does feel good. Taking a sneak peek at that mid. Nothing to say on the Alc once more up against Nisha and Void Spirit. This one, again, it, it should be a little bit easier for the Alc, I think, playing into this lane. Maybe physical barrier does make it annoying at the same time uh, your, your dodge mechanic or the void spirit to play that lane it does take a skill point it's not a freebie like it would be for the monkey king so the outplay potential it's a little bit harder to find for nisha up against yalk here Doing a great job already early on. And a pretty free ride up top, getting some aggression out onto Zai. It's time dilation and just getting the value points in kinetic field and higher levels and glimpse. Like you can't fully commit for the run in when you're just dragged back. You can't run through the kinetic field in the well, well positioned usage for Y. You find Planet Town bot though. Feels really good. Just the slow stacking with a reflection in hand. Again, it's a rundown lane for the Brewmaster if he's not careful. Every time Metamorphosis is up, there is a kill threat coming out here from Liquid. Planet's going pretty far in to try for a D ward. Not going to be able to find it, but you are out of mana on Insania. And this is the one thing that hurts the CM. Mango stocks being down, having to choose between Mango and Blood Grenade also makes it a little bit tough to just sustain. They'll ferry some mangoes out now, but without them, it's kind of just a glorified creep while waiting for that mana. Yeah, he was queuing this up in the last game too. It just went off to a bit of a bit too slow of a start to get into the meteor hammer, but I like it. Like the stats are helpful to the elk. You just push, you just farm a lot faster. So it's good for a more active but also farmy elk, like a good hybrid. Still get enough back on Shiro that doesn't feel too painful for the side of Liquid. Again, the top lane is not the easiest to get aggressive on for Zai, even though it's a natural clockwork Dark Seer combination, but it's just finding an opening into the Disruptor and the Faces Void is a lot tougher. So as long as Shiro farms and is not completely shut down lane, you're kind of happy. Looks like the Dyer figured out where Radiant's got No bash.
Yeah, it's just not an easy time to deal with all those slows. So, Zeal's lane can be off slower. His Vanguard timing still kind of lined up, but again, not as quick as you'd want it to be. The XP also just not feeling as good with how often you're dying in this mount. They are playing up top, though. You can kind of just ignore the bot lane anyway. It's not like the Rubik's contributing too much with the room mastery. So you just give a little bit of solo space for Zeal to soak up some EXP, find a little bit of farm, kind of just surrender the fact that Mika has a free lane. However, you can connect to mid pretty nice. You've got the Meteor Hammer up and running on, nothing to say. He can start to shove in. You have six on Nisha though. So the kill trap and the Void Spirit, it's pretty hard. Middle tower is about to be a pile of smoking rocks. Denied. Snacks away to bounty rune as well, which against the Alk always feels good. I can say he still wants to find some punishment. Radiant's oh no. Tower is hanging on by a brick. Oh my god. Uh, he, he does way too much in laning phase. Barely survives, knows his limits well, had a fairy fire to bail him out. Radiant's now he's got some free time to just meet your hammer down mid. Rocks. So you're, you're getting a good launching point from mid for LGT. Your side lanes are suffering quite a fair bit. Like, this is still a slower start for Zeal in particular than you'd want for the Brewmaster. Bottom network core so far. For Shiro, it's, it's an all right time. He is going for the Midas in the phases void. Mika is getting a little bit more out of his lane, but that is to be expected for the Terrorblade. Just been able to play around with the metamorphosis and that early aggression to see him does provide very nicely. So both sides kind of have strong launching points. Nisha is going for this Spirit Vessel build up, so he just wants to counteract a lot of this durability that can say has early on. And I like this. It's again, very aggressive of Nisha. Just looking to play fast, looking for kills. And again, with the, with the tempo you have from the rest of your cores, like even Mika can join in a little bit early once he has, say, Dragon Lance Yasha and push mid. Good stuff. Radiance Courier just took a dirt nap. Huh? If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's top tower, I'd put on a hard hat. That baby is coming down. Radiant might want to haul some ass down to their bottom tower. Oh, well, they've still got one. Man, yeah. wastes that first use of the primal split out from Zeal. Just can't hold this one steady. Hmm? Radiant's scanning around for enemies. With their odd... Uh, <laughs> It's too much beyond levels. Like you just do so much with your primal split right now. That that additional ruling just is worth a lot. They've got the chrono to find a pick off here on Shear if they wanted to commit. Spirit Vessel flying out now with four charges up. It's going to be a straightforward process in just locking in Shiro. Or even just locking in nothing to say. Who is going to be really susceptible to that healing reduction. I want to see LGD find something to do with Nikol, though. Killing spree! Killing spree! Killing spree! Radiant's middle tower is gone. But it lives on in our hearts. Thank you. 
Radiant's throwing all they've got at Dyer's bottom tower. Radiant's top tower, I'd shut my eyes right now. And you get to find a pick off for themselves, clear out a couple of the smaller stacks on the large camp as well, and just kind of get some movement out. You know, they defend their tier one bot for a little bit longer, so you're getting some rune to breed, not losing out your wisdom runes too early on, or at least control in that area, bleeding out. And you finally get some space for sure to get that Midas. Going for the Diffusal Blade now, next. Again, a little bit more control, a little bit more output on Faces Void. Kind of do like that. More fight-oriented build coming out here. And the Dispersers can feel pretty nice as well to upgrade into for Shiro. Again, it, it's, it's a pretty good slot. Item although, mid. Don't look now, but Radiant's bottom tower is getting a little You can look, it's kind of funny. Twice the measure of power. Hope Dyer's middle tower is insured. And the bottom Rick. tower is a pile of dust and gravel. Jackpot. I think the... Uh, Brewmaster Radiance is something I've been seeing even in the tail end of the last patch, especially with a lot of China teams and some Southeast Asian teams. This, it makes sense in this game purely because of the Terror Blade. None of your heroes, the Alchemist kind of wants to fight more. You get a lot of value with just having that burn on the Brulings. So it makes sense. The issue is the timing for Zeal. It doesn't feel amazing. He's had a slow lane. He's not really able to farm too much. Maybe they find Boxy here? No. Wimps? No. Yeah, just keeping an eye out. No one's going to be coming through. He sends a rocket into the other side. Onto the gate. <laughs> just wanting to make sure he's safe. You know, just wanting to make sure he's he's fine. You're fine, Poxy. You can rest easy. No one will follow you, Churro. But 12 to 6 start. Again, Liquid showing us just how well they play this early game. How they, how well they play the lane Man, phase. Like LGD Dyer's doing a great job of stalling, though. Again, like, this lineup does take time to cuck up. Shiro's getting a lot of value from his Midas not being contested. Nothing to say. Already has that full Solar Crest with the minus armor stackings in play. For that Alchemist, once these fights do break out, it's just so potent. Like, it, it's just, it's so much. The minus, the minus armor is huge along with your Acid Spray. It's pretty much down to minus 13. After finding the stable, helping with physical. Thing is standing on his last brick. Control through Radiant mentor. Control Radiant is on down. your side for sure. A little bit easier for you to sneak something away. But LGD have not revealed their teamfight prowess just yet. Right? We haven't seen Static Storm with Chrono. You're not ready to show up on Shiro. So there's still a lot of fight, but the smoke wave from Liquid might catch him off guard. Forget I said that. Their bottom tower is in trouble, though. Radiant scanning for enemies. Or maybe for friends. They look man. Radiant does not like Dyer's bottom tower, and it shows. <laughs> Surprised LGD forced that fight with Zeal. Like, without the split, your Brewmaster really doesn't do too much. The Chrono was not ideal from Shiro. The Cogs were pushing him back. He wasn't really able to connect to any target. So it's just a little bit messy for LGD to kind of force out. Gives Liquid an opening. Now. 
Goes in. But at this point, until then, it is all in on Zeal. And I, I like what he's doing. Go for the Philosopher's Stone. Just save up for that Radiance. Get the value up against the Terror Blade. It's still a ways off, but they, they have their long-term lined up here. Their long-term uh, commitments lined up on LGD. like game one where the late game scaling of LGD is a little bit more solid you could argue that Terrorblade versus Faceless Void is not that bad for Terrorblade but the Void Chrono just kind of trumps all these spells it's, it's really just down to the Chrono and you have a lot of utility scaling left with Zeal of course you've got an Alchemist that can be a wild card factor I think if nothing to say it goes for something like the overwhelming blank down the line jumps on top of the Terrorblade you have a pretty good time twacking away at the TV you, you can get a lot of armor yourself. You have a lot of minus armor to now, equal out that matchup. And you have a lot of utility for your team. So, it's kind of fun. for Liquid, I'd like to see them just kind of group up more. You know, play confidently. As long as they're not caught out with a big chrono, if they can find these pickoffs on LGD's heroes, then maybe you take more map control. Maybe you start to pressure some tier twos. Play with the metamorphosis. Line up for the Roshan. Uh, at, the, at the least, go for these tormentors a little bit earlier, right, as they spawn. Your lineup does do a good job of clearing that pretty fast. it safe. I think these BKB timings also line up with a Radiance timing of Zeal. Actually, he's about the same amount of gold away. So that's like three huge items coming out for LGD in these next few team fights. And that's where, again, Liquid falling back to farm, it's, it can hurt them. And not to say that they're out of the game, but these fights just, it gets a lot harder to execute on in comparison to if you were just ganking up five minutes earlier. Right, like you feel stronger when Metamorphosis is up. Your pickoff game is really strong. Is what a clockwork and avoid spirit. Your counter team Probably fight with back wall is huge, move. which it will still stay big and relevant. It's just again, Chrono is is it's really a be all end all spell. If if the game drags on, and I know we're only 20 minutes in, but you're you're kind of seeing those steps line up for LGD if Liquid don't take activity sooner, especially really with a Scotty up on Mika, but. And maybe without something more protective or without more damage, he's just not willing to go. He is queuing up the Chrysalis, probably into Silver Edge or just a full Daedalus. If she wins the 50-50, maybe it ends up in clockwork, which is still good. You know, you're not going to be crying. They have pretty good support shards here. You wouldn't be too upset. If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's top tower, I put on a heart. That baby is coming down. run. 
Dyer's top we missed our opening. He really wants to smoke up top. LHD off on the other side of the map. Find a good flank in. Not going to be able to find more. I like this blink on nothing to say. Again, like, as long as the Alk can gap close onto something like the Terrorblade, or at least just get that initiation without having to commit too hard with, say, the Chrono, you're, you're happy enough. It's going Don't into the AC now, next. More durability coming out. Could he gun for Roshan? Okay, fine. You can yeah. It's kind of funny. You can tell Dyer's middle tower is in trouble from the way it's being destroyed as I speak. I saw the circles. That's massive commitment from LGD. No Chrono being thrown, but split down. We know how much this impacts the team fight of LGD. Static storm down for a little bit of time as well. So you have an opening here for Liquid. And they'll, they'll go for a smoke play out. They see the split again. You, you can't take these team fights on LGD without that split. Your face's void doesn't do enough damage just yet to feel comfy just with a chrono. So you just have to surrender. Liquid with its opening, with a secondary life up. This is when we need to see them take these tier twos. Take the tier twos, take more of the map away from the side of LGD and just prevent them from playing this farm game. I'm surprised Shiro is actually prioritizing this burster immediately, but. It, it is a pretty sick item, so I don't fault him. I, I don't know if he's going to have enough damage, though. And Chrono would just disperse your BKB along with a Midas for attack speed. kill that slows down some tempo from look but just a little bit not too long still gonna be able to come in and fight while the chrono is down here from the side of lgd but at least you have zeal split top tower, so as long as you have that again that you can still kind of take these fights he is working on the blink now on our brew master as well which should help the cause in a pretty big way Dyer's top tower for LGD. i mean the dispersor is up so there's that plus 45 damage i I don't know, like, I'd expect this as, like, a fifth item pickup as an upgrade. So... Uh. Hope Dyer's middle tower isn't good. The is standing on its last break. They get some good punishment. So close to cleaning up. If you found nothing to say, that fight feels very different. But again, having the split means you still have an angle to punish here on the side of LGD, even without the Chrono. And now you're going to be down Metamorphosis for Mika for quite some time. Aegis is still a little bit longer than that. 
cooldown though. You have a bit of a window to run around and try to be aggressive. And you have the full BKB up for Mika. She's not going to be as worried about the Panda at this point. But he should still be worried about the Chrono. And that, that's still the big the big part. Like, yeah, you don't have that Void counter. Shiro, he's going to start scaling up now. He is going back for the Maelstrom into Mjolnir. More damage coming out there. And... Yeah, it's, 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 it helps you clear out the illusions, helps you farm. Feels good for you to stand forward as well with your shield active, just to bounce some damage back in. Nothing to stay. He's still been stuck in his buildup, hasn't been able to really progress in the AC. But once you have more of that minus armor stacking, it, it's going to be really scary. Like, even the Terra Blade starts to get really in. squishy. Because of just sheer amount of minus armor you will you will have. It's, it's kind of insane. It's like almost half, maybe a little bit less than half of Mika's armor. Which is a lot for his EHP. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. You can tell I don't know. Maybe at this point, from the why would be like, hey, come on, let's get this. You know? Metamorphosis up. Still half a minute on the Aegis. More than enough room here to just kind of get that done. LGD. Really They've got to wait for the respawn. They don't want to buy back. Not with how close that blink is for Zeal. Just surrendering that tier 2. This is a little bit of an awkward time now for Liquido. Once Aegis expires, you're so susceptible. If it expires, if they find him in 10 seconds, man. This is scary. If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's top tower, I'd put on a hard hat. That baby is coming down. Run, buddy! Run! Radiance Courier has made one last run. Looks like Radiance Courier just kicked the biscuit. Stalled out for two and a half minutes. Pretty nice take for Shiro. Don't find the kills, but you stall out these item timings, which still plays in your favor. Again, you've got time to keep playing this recovery game. A very even game so far, Ricky. Much more even here in game two. 18 to 13, less than 1k lead for LGD. Even a win probability is just like close to 50 50, 52% advantage for Liquid. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I know my how my Dota Plus works. And at some point, once you take a fight as LGD, it starts to really favor a void. It just really calculates Chrono as a very big aspect, which is fair, but always kind of seems mildly biased, but understandably so. That it does. That it does. Smoke out here. From what we're looking for their own opening here. <laughs> you can tell Dyer's middle tower is in trouble from the way it's being destroyed as I speak. Yep. It's a great scouting spell. It's so spammable. You just drop it down and you'll spot out smokes. It's kind of like having a techie's mine on hand. It's just really neat. So I like it. it it's it's an it's an interesting use of utility. Very interesting. And he can set up for his own glimpses as well if he's trying to chase someone down. So. Can be your own setup now for your own place. I am a little bit curious about Shiro's build up. I believe he went back for a Manta 
instead of going all in on his output. So just having a dispel on hand, trying to bail out perhaps. Just being a little bit worried about, say, a frostbite. I suppose it's nice and maybe assuming the silence will come out with the void spirit on the axe. So Man, Radiant does not like Dyer's bottom tower and it shows. Dyer's bottom tower is gone to be with the big brick in the sky. Yeah, and he has his level 20 talent anyway. So damage isn't as big of an issue with the attack speed bonus you do have in Chrono. Yeah, it's it's still pretty. I mean, it was nerfed down a little bit in the last patch as well, but it's still. I mean, it kind of killed the hero for a bit in comp, but it's it's still good. Yeah, it's, it was way higher. Yeah, <laughs> a bit too much. They've got the full AC finally this up, and I can say again, this one took a while, and he is going for that overwhelming blink we talked about. So, just a front line out, jumping in. Just stepping up, like if you jump onto the Terror Blade, it's it's a nasty time for Mike. Yeah, he needs it. Dyer's middle tower is taking one hell of a beating. You're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. That should be enough time for LGD to kind of decide what they want to do. They did pop the Chemical Rage on that thing to say here, so he's not gonna be comfy showing up in the middle of this fight. Dyer's middle tower is taking one hell of a beating. Dyer's middle tower is stone dead. safe place, taking more control on the map side of LGD. We just haven't seen them work as a team on some of these fights just yet. Zeal, a little bit too squishy up front. Darkseer Shard for free always feels nice to have a little bit more out of that surge. Kind of helpful in just stopping the chase at the least. Darkseer farts. We get Murana farts. Now we have Darkseer just farting in line. Yeah, they all fart. But it's all still the Darkseer fart. It's his spell causing them to fart. It's so gassy, this guy. to wait out the flare and the minus armor stacking speeds us up. Coming in. Oh. Zeal takes that front line attention. I'm still a bit surprised he's keeping that Q on Please his begin. item Q on a heart over an Aeon disc or a BKB. Because it, it's not been easy for him when he's caught out. Maybe they're assuming they start these fights on their end? No? Nothing to say? LGD, and they're getting really aggressive on, I can say, jumping forward, but where's his backup? Zeal's not able to join in with an earlier split. They get caught in the back wall, they're not able to use this chrono that we've been talking about from Shiro in any effective manner. In fact, I feel like he's only done one chrono so far, maybe two actually, and we haven't seen anything since. The high ground hold from LGD is still there, but it doesn't feel like they're coordinating his team too well. Like, nothing to say wants to do one thing, the backup isn't there in time. 
And if they can't connect this team fight play, which your lineup excels at, then you're just going to get run down. The output, the durability of Liquid is there. The slipperiness of Nisha without Agza, it disrupts these fights in a massive way. in the world and just get these fights started for the team no problem and lgd and again their lineup isn't out of it at all but this is a it feels like it's become a harder game than it should have been they've lost the lead by a massive amount they're going to be constantly pressured onto their high ground with a split push that can come through with these illusions you do have a pretty big item pickup for shira lined up mkb flying in now so preemptively expecting that uh, Terror Blade Butterfly. All in. Very all in for him, but Shira has been playing his cards right. He's not been dying. So I, I think that's just they just want to be able to get Chrono out. Like he's not feeling confident in Chrono. If he's not confident with this MKB, then I'm not sure what they're waiting for. time if I recall right with a disruptor shard coming in could use more of that like and they already have a rubik shard at the least come in handy. they all have shards okay yeah oh except shiro could be nice yeah that's a big one i'm pretty sure they could no dyer's middle tower has taken one hell of a beating He knows Zeal is just trying to hold on to that split as long as he can. They need that in the fight. He has buyback gold, but that will completely remove this timing on BKB for him. But they need to do something. High ground's going to be knocked on. Age is still a minute 50 left. They have to work some angles out in LGD. Respect the team fight a little bit. Again, LGD very patient. There is. Uh, they're not in the safe position to take. There is vision here. Could. I think they the the lanes aren't in too bad shape except bot. I do I do feel like they have they should have taken some fights earlier or at least connect a little bit better because now you have so much utility coming out from Liquid like the hex up to kind of ruin your initiation, lock down the void or the brewmaster feels awful for the side of LGD. 
There's a DD rune here as well that Nisha or Mike will enjoy for that next engagement. I mean, Aegis is dwindling down, but it doesn't even feel like it matters for the most part with all of this control. Even a hex up on Nisha as well. Just guaranteed kills when his Void Spirit comes in. Oh, it's you. That's a major kill to find. They forced the buyback. So Void, no buyback, no chrono. Easy high ground push lined up here for Liquid. And once more, LGD, they're fighting into the initiation of Liquid. They, they get the chrono off after a big back wall instead of just instantly retreating. Oh, oh my god. That is Again, I said that. They're five the double kills. They call. Liquid, they're on point. Like they slow down a little bit. It feels like you're giving a lot of space out for LGD to get that form game going, but in the end, LGD can't take any of these fights. They're initiation. That was awesome, right? Thank you for watching with me. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the bell icon to be notified for the next uploads. Stay safe and see you on the next one.